death to the dead bride. I knew you could do it. You seem to have something on your mind, descendant. Is it about Alpha? I know he doesn't trust me. For my part, I would like to share all the data I have with him, but it's a mystery even to me as to why neither Jeremy nor Alpha can connect with me. I was never granted permissions to configure such things. But one thing I can tell you for certain. I am a code designed to protect Ingress. Descendant, so far I have provided the technology to not only search for Ironhearts, but also to track Colossi. It would be wonderful if you could find the third Ironheart with these technologies and work with Alpha to find a solution. Of course, there are some things that are more important even than that. With that in mind, please go and meet with Luna and Kyle. They seem to have information regarding a new Ironheart. It appears to be highly reliable. Luna, I said turn that music down. I can't think straight. Excuse me. This music is designed to relax your body and your mind. It only sounds loud and annoying to you because you don't have the soul of an artist. <laughs> <sighs> she just doesn't listen. How did I get landed with this kid? What? You have a problem with me? I'm an artist. I feel, enjoy, and perform music. Uh, whatever. Hey, you! Come here. I've got something you need to know. What? Were you talking to me? I have so many melodies flowing through my head ever since I met the guide. But it feels like there's something missing. I could feel with my entire being that there was a final piece of the puzzle which would complete my song. But I couldn't figure out where it was. It was driving me crazy. So I snuck out without telling Alpha. I was careful not to get caught. I went toward where I felt the puzzle piece was, and eventually I arrived at the Agna Desert. That's when I heard a very loud melody. It reminded me of the one I heard on the day I met the guide. When I approached it to listen closer, I saw a red sphere. As soon as I saw the sphere, the melody was complete, and I felt it flow through my entire body. It was wonderful. But then, you know what happened? I ran into this big clunker here, saying that he'd felt some strange magnetic field or something. And that's when I realized, the Iron Heart must be there. But then this tin brain started going on about smashing the Red Sphere open and taking the Iron Heart out by himself. I never said that I would smash it. I only wanted to have a look at it. Stop making things up. Whatever. Anyway. I had to tell Alpha all about it, and came back to Albion on his orders. That's why Alpha is looking for you. Why are you so amazed by what this mad woman is saying? Don't just stand there, get moving! Who are you calling a mad woman? And you! Don't nod your head in agreement like that! Just get going and go see Alpha! Now! Just get to the point. I'm sure that Kyle and Luna told you what they saw, so I'll cut to the chase. Both of them believe that the Red Sphere in the Agna Desert very likely contains the Ironheart. This is a golden opportunity for us. There's no guarantee that the Ironheart is actually inside the Sphere, but it's the best shot we've had so far, and the Magisters agree. I've mobilized a team to investigate the Red Sphere. That includes you. The excavation team will also be joining you, as they were working in the Agna Desert until recently. I hope this operation secures us an Ironheart. The incident with Jeremy included, we always watch the Ironheart slip through our fingers right before our eyes. If we can't defeat Karel, even with our strategic asset, the Guide, at our disposal, the future of humanity is grim. Good luck. All clear.
You have something to ask of the great Reyna? Well, it's finally time for a proper introduction. My name is Reyna, and I head up the world's best excavation team. Nice to meet you. The Agna Desert. This place is paradise for us on the excavation team. There are so many exciting things to uncover, including the ruins of the ancestors. And the Red Sphere. We've never seen it before, and there are no records of it either. That's why we want to dig into it and figure out what it is ourselves. If the Iron Heart really is inside it, it'll be a historic discovery for the excavation team. And that's why I wanted to talk to you to let you know that I am fully invested in this operation, and I look forward to working with you. See you in the desert. It's been a while. This way, please. Ah, welcome. I heard that this is the last remaining Ironheart. That makes me a little worried, but I'll give this mission my all, regardless. Kyle is doing aerial recon to see if the Volgus are up to anything. Luna's focusing on sensing the beat generated from the Ironheart. And she's also listening out for the unique noises generated by Volga's movements, of course. Ah, I can see her expression changing. See the way she's frowning? I think that means the Volgas are on the move. We need to create an environment where she can concentrate. Descendant, take care of him. For Luna to be able to concentrate, you must pacify this wasteland. Kite, there's a lot of reverb coming from you. Quiet. Oh, I see. Thank <laughs> you. 
have to.
the radar that was installed in this zone at Luna's request. The radar must be defended. It was installed specially to help us with the Red Sphere.
understand what that means. And judging by the way his voice echoed, we should be looking for somewhere indoors. <laughs> nice job. My way. Descendant, it's Reyna. I've poured over the literature and it looks as if there's an underground entrance close by. That would account for the echoes that Luna can Wait. hear, right? Yeah, I knew my ears were reliable. I said it would be indoors, didn't I? You never said it would be underground. Anyway, I've just sent the coordinates. Go check it out. Descendant, I don't know if you noticed, but this is also a facility that the ancestors used. If what Luna and Reyna are saying is correct, the data the Vulgus are extracting while underground must be related to the Red Sphere and the Iron Heart. It won't be easy to bypass the security system set up by the ancestors, but we shouldn't underestimate Vulgus technology either. Let's hurry. We must stop the enemy before they extract all the data. Given the reaction of the commander we encountered recently, they must not have considered the possibility that we would appear so soon. And as their time is limited, they must be attempting to extract all the answers to the device they have. mentioned words are seal, red sphere shell component, and conflict. I have assessed the shell analysis data. The shell is composed of a similar material to the links surrounding the iron heart. Combining all of the data, I believe we can conclude that the ancestors inserted the iron heart into the red sphere. This is connected to the civil war that broke out in Vespers. Perhaps the ancestors sealed the Iron Heart inside the Red Sphere because they felt that the civil war couldn't hold it anymore. I cannot figure out the exact steps they took. But the important thing is that the sealing was successful. Yes, keep struggling! There's nothing you can do! The Volgus Legion is the Apex Predator! I'm analyzing the data retrieved from the destroyed device. 
Please buy me some time. Encryption protocol activated. Compressed data extraction complete and security removed. Beginning analysis. The data contained records of the ancestors who tried to remove the Ironheart, their operation plans, and the blueprint for the special weapon to break the seal. The weapon's power source was... Arcane. 
If we can use this information effectively, we'll be able to obtain the Iron Heart safely. We must inform Alpha and come up with a plan. isn't much time. We have to hurry. Welcome back. Is there anything you want to report? Are you saying that this record was left by the ancestors who tried to use the Ironheart? And an ancient arcane weapon. What were they trying to do with the Ironheart? Were they trying to close the dimensional wall just like we're trying to do now? I don't have time to think about that right now. We'll begin operations to dig up the Red Sphere and break out the Iron Heart using the RK weapon. Descendant, we will check the safety of the weapon thoroughly, so don't worry. Also, deciphering the composition of the Red Sphere was quite beneficial for us. It allowed us to start immediate production of dismantling materials. We are mass producing them, just in case. Luna and Reyna are investigating the weapon. So I want you and Kyle to clear out all enemies within the vicinity of the Red Sphere. The RK weapon and the material to destroy the Red Sphere are both ready. As long as we have no troublemakers impeding our operation, there shouldn't be any problems. We should definitely be able to get the Ironheart first this time. Alpha appears to be focused on how to use the Ironheart. He doesn't seem to be concerned about how it came to be sealed away in the first place. I want to know why the Ancestors concealed the Iron Heart. At the risk of conflict and separation, there must be a good reason. Hey, what's taking you... I can't believe you're taking it easy when we have so little time. <sighs> We're going to clear the storage in the area nearby first. I know what you're about to say. Alpha ordered us to completely clear the entire area surrounding the Red Sphere. When I was a construction corps leader, we were the first ones working here, along with the descendants. We built the digger, too. If it weren't for a surprise attack by the Vulgus, the core would still be alive. The only thing I'm interested in right now is to have my revenge on those bastards. Don't worry. When I'm done with that, I'll do my best to exterminate any enemies near the Red Sphere. Construction Corps leader Kyle always keeps his promises, you know. That hasn't changed since I've become a descendant. So trust me. I'll get a read on the enemy's movements from above. I'll let you manage things from the ground. Kyle. Rage and revenge eat away other human emotions and limit perspective. If 
you're here just to give me useless pearls of wisdom, I prefer you to get lost, guide. Our goal is to find the Iron Heart, Kyle. Your actions may prevent us from achieving this. Like I said before, I won't do anything to jeopardize the operation, I swear. This place is still swarming with Eamon's underlings. They're machines, so collecting any data will be helpful for the operation. If you don't want to destroy the outpost I worked on, come to the supply box when you enter the fight. Focus! These bastards keep coming!
Nemesis has the last views we need. Hurry! What? Spectral Digger isn't stopping. Damn it! It's the bogus reinforcements! Watch out! Sure, kids like Luna don't understand situations like this. This is about loyalty. The Spectral Digger here was built when I was in charge of the Construction Corps. The Volgus must have realized its power and modified it. I was too weak then. There was nothing I could do. I watched my colleagues fall before my very eyes. One of them begged me to destroy the Digger with their last breath. That's what I'm here to do. I will honor that request and throw this hunk of metal off this cliff. I was actually wandering across the desert on my way to do this from the beginning. Finding the Iron Heart was just a coincidence. But this also aligns with our operation goals as it involves clearing the Volgus and destroying the enemy facility in this region. It won't interfere with the operation. I'm talking too much. If you're ready, let's go. Descendant, only you and Luna can hear this. Destroying. God is blinded by revenge. If we allow him to continue, it will become more difficult to dissuade him, which will make it harder to assume control over the area surrounding the Red Sphere. We must make Kyle understand. This is the only way we can achieve our goal. <laughs> Don't worry. I have prepared something very pretty. Would you take a peek inside my mind? Just you wait. I'm gonna persuade that tin brain nutcase straight away.
Digger will also be dust soon.
I need to find out how the Volgus rebuilt the digger. That could also help us with our current operation. I also need to know what the Volgus did to my teammates. I want you to collect data while I look for somewhere on the spectral digger to set the bomb.
let's talk. I almost made a terrible mistake, blinded by revenge. The kid is right. Without the Iron Heart, nothing will bring any comfort to the souls of my old colleagues. But if we can find it and use it, that'd make me happy for both my old colleagues and my current teammates. Luna, she's not so bad. But I'll tell her that in person later, so pretend like you didn't hear this. Especially you, Guy. And you too. As you wish. Now we should get to our respective positions. I want you to help Reyna while I go see Marcus. Everything okay? Looked like there was a bit of commotion or something. Anyway, I think we found something. My excavation equipment and Luna's sonic survey both seem to indicate that... Oh... Something feels off about this place. I'll send you the coordinates, Descendant. Hurry, I need... Now, where was the next excavation region? We found something strange when we were looking for traces of the ancient RK weapon. The bones of a giant creature. Given the size of the bones, it must have been as big as Corel's flagship. We've never seen anything like this before. I ran a search on the Albion database, and it came up with a match for an animal called the Caligo. Carbon dating results suggest that this Caligo is from the same era as the ruins of the ancestors. That makes it the oldest organism ever discovered in Albion. Same thing with this. Carbon dating shows it's from the same period as the ruins of the ancestors that are around here. The excavation team and I think that these bones are somehow closely related to the RK weapon. And they both existed in the same era as the ancestors. Maybe that means something? Maybe the ancestors used them for an experiment or something? I'm sure we can come up with several plausible hypotheses. I think we should also notify your guy, is it? I'll contact HQ and have them send the info to your receive. The Caligo may be from the same era as the Ancestors, but I think they must have died out before I was created, as there is no information on them in my database. Or, access to the information may have been secretly blocked. There's so much I don't know yet. I wish we could find data that I don't know or don't have access to. And I may understand the real reason for my existence.
The Volgus went that way. Be careful. If we want to widen the gap between us and them.
here to ruin our operation. Take care of it.
party will be over. Organism I have never heard of. I cannot be sure, but there's a good chance that the ancestors used the Caligo to test the RK weapon. Based on the data on the Caligo that we received through the ISIV, if we estimate its original size based on the size of the bone, its bone density and composition, and assume appropriate muscle mass to support this, its body would be comparable in toughness to that of a colossus. A Caligo like that would have been the perfect subject to test a weapon of such immense power. This is only a hypothesis, but it is the only conclusion that I can find when applying the calculations. We will need additional data in order to replace or confirm this. Guide, I understand that we have to move quickly, but I'm sorry, I can't. I'm feeling dizzy from all those sounds I was exposed to. Oh, everything sounds like noise to me now. I don't think I'll be able to handle a cave, or somewhere where everything echoes. Luna, return to Albion now. I'll take care of things here. Uh, hello? I believe your thrusters have overheated. If you can't fly, you know you're about as useful as an empty tin can. You should have a nace fix you up before you break completely. <sighs> you're right. My thrusters, as well as my suit, are at their limits. Guide, look after the kid. Luna and I will head back. All right, Kyle. Please take care of Luna. We'll investigate here. So desperately investigating this place because RK can be detected here. There are many broken bones here. I think there may have been conflict at some point. I will check to see if I can find substances other than RK.
expectations, I can find nothing other than Arcade. Ivan did not use Arcade solely as the power source. Perhaps it was used for the attack itself. Why do they have to build such a powerful weapon? I want to know. If there were any other cases, he still remains. There would have been no to kill triggers. Come on! Yes. 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 
Guide course activated. 30% of data records accessed. Analyzing security data. Analysis complete. Descendant. I have discovered the goal of the development of the RK weapon. Attack. success of this operation will lead us. Welcome back. I have read the report submitted through the Aceve. Only the guide could handle the RK weapon. She didn't know anything about the Caligo. But she has access permissions for the RK weapon, which is powerful enough to kill a Caligo. It's a little... suspicious. But we have a more important matter at hand. We must obtain the Ironheart. Now that we have everything we need, all that's left is to go all out. We've already loaded a tactical armored vehicle with the material to pour over the Red Sphere. But there's a problem. The substance is highly volatile, so Kyle and Luna are escorting it. Carefully. This slows things down, of course. While they're escorting the tactical armored vehicle, I need you to clear out all the Vulgus from the surrounding area. We must create a secure environment to get the vehicle into position. Once the special material arrives safely, we can move on to the final stage of our operation. When the chemical reaction changes the surface of the Red Sphere, that'll be our chance. We must activate the RK weapon at that moment. Once the Red Sphere is neutralized, we only need a small amount of RK to retrieve the Ironheart. But even though we don't need a lot, both Luna and Kyle's RK has been severely depleted. Descendant, you're the only one who can activate the weapon. I know it'll be physically demanding, but it's a critical step to accomplishing our goal. I need you to focus on the mission more than ever. Go to the Agna Desert and complete the assignment so that the tactical armored vehicle can get into position safely. Let's show those bastards that this victory will be ours. Hey, this is Raina. We've detected unidentified phenomena around the Red Sphere. The floating stones are moving. Requesting reinforcements. Don't worry, it's just the guide. She's moving the floating stones so we can approach the Red Sphere. So, the guide really does have control. The situation is favorable, for the moment. We have to hurry. Thank you. 
You have something to ask of the great Ra- Oh, seeing you makes me feel like I've finally come back to reality, Descendant. I've never seen anything like this in my entire career. The floating stones only just stopped. They were moving like crazy a minute ago. We can't see the guide, so it gave us quite a scare. Once you clear this area, I will lead the Ironheart excavation from higher ground. I'll also coordinate with you so that the guide can use the RK weapon too. We're almost there. Let's go. It seems I've caused quite a scene.
They're trying to get under our skins. Just wait. Bastard. Descendant, are you ready? We'll begin the operation. Marcus, what's the status of the vehicle? Move it to the designated area once you arrive. Kyle, Luna, focus on escorting the tactical armored vehicle. Thanks for Carl and Luna's escort. Be there soon. Don't worry.
It's almost over. Don't be afraid of them. If things don't go to plan, we'll come and support you. Don't worry. Just focus on your mission. I can sense their belief in you. I can see it in all the Inhaling all that excavation dust was worth it. We're covered. Marcus, we're ready over here. How about on your end? Hey, ma'am. Just give us a signal. All right. Get rid of that hunk of iron. Just what I was waiting to hear. <laughs> Lock on target!
Ascendant, it's all up to you now. back to Albion, you'll need to leave it there for now. It looks like the Colossus Devara is drawn to the energy of the Iron Heart. If you bring it to Albion now, the situation will become much worse. Damn, what the heck? Why do you keep getting in the way at times like these, Colossi? Not completely unexpected. Same thing happens every time an Iron Heart is removed. We should brace for an intercept battle. Don't I go nonchalant about this? You haven't even fully recovered yet. Kyle, listen. We should wait here and start transporting the Ironheart again when things settle down. Take a void intercept battle aside. Descendant, 
Devara is a colossus that hasn't been seen for some time. It was last spotted a decade ago. It's a powerful colossus which makes it very difficult to defeat. The existence of Devara in itself is devastating enough. But the biggest issue right now is that it's appeared at a location close to Ingress. If we fail, Ingress will be in great danger. Please, intercept Devourer.